question to Josh Cohen, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Vooch, could you just talk about the discussion you and your teammates had with uh, Orange County Sheriff John Mina today? Yeah, I mean, it was just, uh, you know, kind of you know, an educational meeting for us to, you know, talk to him about some stuff that we wanted to, you know, uh, get clarification on, some of his thoughts, uh, things that, you know, we can both do, you know, f to help, you know, uh, the fight against social injustice. So I just think it was a good meeting for uh, both sides and uh, for us players to you know, just learn more about certain processes of how it works. And uh, so I don't want to go too much into details, but I think, you know, a lot of positive things came out of that meeting and uh, it was good for us to have that. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Coach, can you describe what it was like uh, between the time you guys went out on the court prior to game five and to the moment uh, the game was uh, declared postponed? Uh, yeah, so we obviously, I mean, people know, we, we were warming up and, uh, you know, we, we, we thought, you know, the, the game was going to uh, just you know, play normally. And obviously, you know, Milwaukee, you know, they had decided not to play. And so, you know, with a couple minutes left on the clock, we just all decided to go back to the locker room and, you know, wait to see what happens, what was the final decision. So, you know, they, they, and, you know for them, it was very emotional time. It was, uh, you know, kind of happening in the moment. And uh, we understood that. And, uh, we, you know, we talked about it with them at the players meeting we had. And uh, we, we clarified everything. It was just, you know, I think, you know, with, with media and everything, it just kind of you know, made it look, uh, you know, difficult for everybody. But I think that, you know, we definitely have an understanding since it did happen in Wisconsin. It was very difficult for some of their players. And uh, no, we respect the decision and we respect that they stood together with all the teammates. And uh, I think it was, you know, it was needed in uh, you know, very difficult times for everybody uh, to kind of take a break, take a pause, regroup and see what we can do you know, moving forward. I think that you know, from that, a lot of positive things came out uh, from the meetings we had with players, with the owners. And uh, so hopefully you know, all this will you know, continue to you know, bring a positive change. Evan Fitzgerald, Fox 35. Sort of building off of that, I know it's it's been an emotional couple of days for everybody, but can you sort of describe for you what do you feel like has been has been gained, that what what has been achieved over the last couple of days, and what still needs to be done moving forward? Obviously, a lot of things from a societal level, but but what do you think has already been achieved by what's happened here over the last couple of days? Well, I think that you know from the meetings with the owners, you know about having arenas open up for voting. That's that, that's been great. Uh, you know, a lot of the things that the owners are, are going to you know, do with players, the, the uh, uh, not the collaboration, the co, the can't remember the word, uh, the coalition with the players. I think that's going to be great. Uh, and so you know, I think just the communication with us and the owners, they want to be more involved. They want to you know help uh, fight social injustice, and uh, and also just I think the the pause itself I think brought attention you know, around the world and uh, raised awareness even more about the message that we're trying to send. And so you know we understand it's not going to happen over now. We understand that it's going to be a long process, and that you know we're going to have to keep fighting. But you know we, we're going to try to do our part the best we can. And uh, I think we have some great leaders in this league that can help us do that. And our you know, the fact that our owners are willing to you know, help us show that we're all together in this. So. Just, you know, little things that can be achieved over time, you know, hopefully can uh, bring big results. Josh Cohen. For the NBA, the players, the owners, the coaches to come to an agreement so that the season can be resumed. Uh, what does that say about the positive relationships that exist between everybody in the NBA? It says a lot. Uh, I think that, you know, the NBA uh, you know, is a leader in, in that way around you know, of all the sports leagues around the world. Uh, you know, showing that our owners are willing to, to to work with us and and, and fighting this you know uh, huge problem that we have worldwide. It is a it was huge for us and it meant a lot to us. And, uh, and we're happy that they also the league can continue. That we can you know, keep playing and use this platform to you know to, to send the right message around the world. Uh, but you no, know, it's important in these times to stay together. And uh, I think that you no. Know, we as the NBA were able to achieve that, uh, you know, over the last couple of days showed togetherness and a move forward. And I think that sends a very strong message around the world. Yeah, we have time for one or two more. Vooch has got to catch the bus. Uh, Dan Savage. Uh, Vooch, how, how do you guys as a team balance uh, the emotions of everything that's going on? And then also at the same time with the resumption of the postseason, uh, get ready for game five with the Bucks. 
Yeah, well, I think, like I said, you know, it's been a couple you no know, days, you know, very emotional for, for a lot of people. And uh, I think that, you know, th this pause was uh, good you know, for everybody to kind of settle down, uh, you know, get their emotions out and, uh, you know, be able to move forward. I think that, you know, with uh, all the things that we were able to achieve the last couple of days, especially, you know, talking to the owners and getting that done, uh, I think it's, you know, brought a lot of positivity. And I think that guys were able you know, to, you know, get themselves together, uh, gather their thoughts, and uh, you know, they'll be ready to go. So, you know, I think you know, we obviously all voted to continue to play, and uh, we want to continue to play and finish the season off. And uh, so, you know, I think that now, you know, guys are going to be able to, you know, turn their minds towards that. Also, this, while at the same time, we are you know, still going to try to send our message and uh, continue to do both. I think we're able to do that, uh, like we're, we're do, do, we've been doing since we've been here, and uh, we're going to continue to do that. But... Yeah, I think that we're all excited to come back to play tomorrow and uh, you know, finish this season off, and uh, hopefully we can continue the series. Okay, thank you, Booch. No problem, thank you.